lots of people he could show off to. Watch how smoothly I can go. Puff Gordon. Gordon was so busy showing off, he didn't see how icy the track was. Gordon slid right through the station and into a siding. Everyone watched as he puffed into a big pile of snow. Yuck! Coughed Gordon. Luckily, no one was hurt. Every wise engine knows that you cannot trust trucks. Go on, go on, they yelled, and bumped Percy's driver and fireman off the footplate. Oh! said Percy, sliding past the board. Percy was frantic. That's enough! Percy was sunk. No one realized that melted snow had turned a stream ahead into a torrent and the bridge above it was about to collapse. The rails were now like a tightrope across the thundering water. The driver braked hard. Toby stopped, still on the rails, but with his wheels treading the tightrope over the abyss. Toby still didn't want to speak to the fat controller. Quickly, he reversed into a siding and didn't see that a big rock had fallen on the line. Bus by cow catchers, he cried. Disaster lay ahead. Something sticky splashed all over James. He had run into two tar wagons and was black from smoke box to cab. He was more dirty than hurt. But the tar wagons and some cars were all to pieces. But it was too late. <laughs> Thomas didn't notice that the points had been changed. Thomas puffed into the sidings and biffed into the buffers. Sticky toffee splattered everywhere. Oh, no, moaned Thomas. I can't give the children train rides when I'm this messy. And he didn't see the goods train ahead until it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt, but Gordon came off the rails. He was covered in gooey red jam. 